Hey guys, it's your girl T and I want to go ahead and shout out Georgette Matthews and Georgette done sent me another story that's coming out of our favorite state, Ratchet Ass Florida. So what's going on now in Florida, you ask? What's going on in Florida is that you have a pregnant 23-year-old, her name is Markeisha Brooks, and she went to go knock on the door of a woman named Virginia Welsh. She went to go confront Virginia Welsh about some things that she had been saying about her on Facebook. So they get into it, they start fighting, and Virginia pulls out a gun and shoots the woman dead in her stomach. This whole situation is just crazy as hell. I'm going to go ahead and play you guys a news clip right now, and then I will come back with the rest of my commentary. About 90 minutes ago, murder charges were filed against the local woman accused of shooting a pregnant woman in the stomach. Sources close to the family tell Action News her unborn baby died at the hospital. Action News' Catherine Varnum is live downtown tonight. And Catherine, the suspect's mother is revealing to you what she says happened. And Mark, I'm told these two women were actually friends, and the suspect was brought here to JSO headquarters, but her mother was not allowed to talk to her tonight after all this happened. This is exclusive video of a mother-to-be just moments after being shot in the stomach. Christopher Cash recorded it all happening. They were arguing at first uh, about what was going on and what was going to happen on Facebook or whatever. And then I walked out and then I just heard a pop. The woman was slumped over in a chair holding her stomach as a neighbor tried to help her. At the same time, Cash captured this woman in handcuffs being put in a JSO car. I just had a call with someone told me my daughter had shot someone. Lillian Jordan says that woman is her daughter, Virginia White. She says she wasn't there when it happened, but says her daughter was probably pushed to her limit. Someone come there and she got mad, she's going to get, she's going to do something. Mm -hmm. Police say the shooting appears to have started after a fight on Facebook the night before. Police say the pregnant woman came to this home to talk with White, and things escalated. White's mother says she can't believe something like this could happen. It's hard for me to cope with this because I was raised in a religious family. Now, according to the JSO inmate website, right now there is no court date listed for when White might appear before a judge. We are live downtown tonight. I'm Catherine Varnum, Fox 30, Action News. Police have not said whether sh the shooting was in self defense. Okay, so you guys just watch the news clip. Y'all see her crackhead ass mama talking about she's 35 years old. She wasn't raised like this. First of all, she's 35 years old, then she's old enough to know better. Why the hell is she fucking with a 23-year-old in the first place? My thing is this. Both of these women are stupid as hell to me, okay? Because a 23-year-old was six months pregnant. And at six months pregnant, she should have had her ass at home and not worrying about what the hell people are saying about her on Facebook. That is your child. As a pregnant woman, it is your job to take care of your baby. Fuck the bullshit, fuck the rumors, fuck the Facebook comments. You're pregnant. Why would you go to somebody else's house looking for a fight? It's like, can we get any more ratchet? We got pregnant women out here going to go look for a fight. And this time, this woman done bit off more than she could chew because the person that she went to fight not only fought her, but put out a gun and shot her and now killed her baby. And now this innocent baby has lost his life over what? I mean, this is some crazy ass shit. Why are people taking Facebook so damn serious? People talk shit all the time on Facebook. Let the stuff go. It's not worth your life. It's not worth getting beat up over and then having people post the video on Facebook and then, you know, people make fun of you for years to come. It's like we just have no emotional self-control. I mean, that shit is just really damn ridiculous. And then the grown woman who's 35, instead of her looking at this bitch like, okay, one, you're 23 and I'm a lot older than you. Two, you're pregnant, so I'm not going to fight you. Instead of her being a grown adult and looking at it like that, she decides to come out of her house and entertain the bullshit and fight the pregnant 23-year-old. And then on top of that, after she fought her, and from what I'm hearing, she whooped her ass, she goes and grabs her gun and shoots her? I mean, this is some sick shit. And then you got the neighbors sitting here recording this shit. They're recording the woman getting beat up, shot, and then somebody soothing her on her back while this woman is bleeding and miscarrying her baby. I mean, this is insane. Why did nobody take that same cell phone camera that they were using to record this fight? Why did nobody take that same cell phone camera and call the police? Or say, you know what, it's not worth it, she's pregnant, y'all don't need to be out here fighting. We love drama and we love bullshit. And we got too many folks out here dying, losing their lives behind not only Facebook, but social media in general. I mean, this is just re damn ridiculous. Anyways, go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire ratchet ass story that's coming from our first favorite state, ratchet ass Florida. I swear I couldn't make this shit up if y'all paid me. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces.